Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Friends, earlier uh, this year, Ginkgo Bioworks had made some announcements. Uh, what I did today was uh, to go through those announcements and try to see where they have reached so far. I'm doing this exercise basically because I want to find out whether Ginkgo is just all talks and no action or do they follow up on their action. Uh, one of the thoughts that I had in my mind was that earlier we were quite excited about uh, the, the geosecurity uh, business and then uh, Ginkgo keeps on coming up with new concepts, new collaborations, and uh, there is always a spike in interest and then things die down, spike in interest and things die down. We have never gone back to see what has happened in the past, what did they declare, what did they do? And the other problem I find with Ginkgo from my perspective is that I don't have the kind of uh, financial information uh, to uh, understand whether the company is doing well or not. So basically we are flying blind and we are just looking at other people's analysis and trying to get some information. So uh, uh, this is a little bit of original work in the sense that uh, you know, I'm trying to see what they said and what they actually delivered, again based on news reports. So uh, let's get started with this analysis and I think uh, at the end of this uh, we'll be able to um, have some conclusions about uh, Ginkgo Bioworks uh, and you have your own insights, you already know a whole lot of things about Ginkgo Bioworks, some of you may have already invested in it. So whatever I'm going to provide in this video today could be an extra little bit of information uh, that you can use to synthesize your uh, forward-looking uh, feelings about uh, Ginkgo Bioworks and your decisions on whether uh, you want to hold on to Ginkgo or not. Of course, uh, whatever I'm saying here is my personal opinion, not financial advice. So please keep that in mind and do your own due diligence before uh, you buy any Ginkgo Bio shares. With that said, let's get started. Welcome back friends. Ginkgo Bioworks is uh, categorized as a synthetic biology service provider who is trying to disrupt the biotech industry with its versatile biology engineering services. Uh, this is the kind of definition that uh, I have been able to uh, cobble together for uh, describing what Ginkgo Bioworks is. Uh, I don't think it's a genomic company purely and um, they are doing a whole lot of things. So some kind of definition was needed and this is what I could come up with which can uh, cover everything that they are doing including cell engineering and stuff like that. Earlier this year in January, they announced a new enzyme intelligence service uh, and they said they would be tapping into the multi-billion multi dollar uh, market of enzymes. Enzymes are essential for various applications uh, from treating diseases to building a sustainable future. However, developing custom enzymes can be time consuming and costly. Ginkgo offers to take on the R&D process and deliver commercial enzymes more efficiently. In today's video, I'll share recent orders that uh, indicate that Ginkgo is making a breakthrough towards achieving this particular vision. The demand for enzymes has increased due to the urgency of meeting sustainability goals. Ginkgo has the expertise and infrastructure to optimize enzyme performance. Developing new enzymes and scaling up production for those enzymes is uh, Ginkgo Bioworks' speciality. They have recently collaborated with Aldevron to improve the production of a critical enzyme used in COVID-19 mRNA vaccines, increasing efficiency by tenfold. Uh, designing novel enzyme functions is another challenge and Ginkgo utilizes sophisticated software powered by machine learning algorithms to analyze gene sequences and create new, uh, new enzyme sequences. Ginkgo's advantage lies in the vast biological portfolio uh, which it has, which it is dubbed code base, uh, which contains a wealth of DNA sequences. The, this particular database trains their machine learning algorithms to recognize desired qualities uh, for enzyme engineering. And the company has invested heavily in digital and physical infrastructure with close to 1,200 uh, staff and uh, acquisition of companies like uh, Zymergen, Radiant Genomics and Lodo uh, Therapeutics, uh, curating a substantial genome database. And Ginkgo's foundries serve as physical powerhouses where uh, computer-generated enzyme concepts are built and tested 
And uh, Ginkgo encourages companies to outsource their projects to them, uh, benefiting from their half a billion dollars of infrastructure and automation. Their philosophy is centered on customer success, uh, aiming to uh, relieve the burden of building infrastructure and accelerate the development of enzyme-based production for various sizes of companies, right from startups on to established companies like Merck. Earlier in June, we had news from uh, Ginkgo that Voodoo Scientific and uh, Ginkgo Bioworks have partnered uh, to optimize an enzymatic solution for distillers to produce smooth uh, spirit products. Uh, Ginkgo will use its protein discovery and uh, design capabilities to create and refine the enzyme for various production environments from craft to large-scale distilleries. Many distilled alcoholic beverages have a harsh or biting sensation when consumed. Uh, Voodoo identified the scientific cause for this hardness, uh, harshness and has developed an enzymatic solution for distillers to create smoother spirits. The solution also enables the development of new flavor profiles across different spirit types. Joanna Montenegro, uh, co-founder and chief scientific officer at Voodoo, expressed satisfaction in providing distillers with a means to control uh, the harshness of their products and enable innovations in the industry. Voodoo chose to partner with Ginkgo due to its strong scientific capabilities and business model that aligns with an early stage company like Voodoo. Jennifer uh, with uh, SVP and head of commercial cell engineering at Ginkgo highlighted the applicability of uh, Ginkgo's enzyme services in engineering enzymes for distilled alcoholic beverages Improving the functionality of enzymes in critical production processes opens up business opportunities for customers, especially in new product development. The implementation of the enzymatic solution uh, does not affect existing uh, processes or equipments for spirit producers. It is, the, it is added as a processing aid uh, during fermentation and does not persist in the final product. Shortly thereafter, uh, fast forward to 29th of June this year, we had a new announcement from Ginkgo Bioworks, the Israeli food tech company Ambrosia Bio and Ginkgo Bioworks have announced a collaboration in which Ambrosia Bio will utilize Ginkgo's enzymatic services to develop an expression strain for the scalable production of Ambrosia Bio's proprietary uh, enzymes used to convert feedstock into allulose, a low calorie sugar substitute. Allulose is a rare sugar found in natural sources, but in small amounts. It has low caloric value and minimal impact on blood glucose and insulin levels while maintaining the sensory and culinary properties of sugar. Ambrosia Bio has successfully developed a unique bio process using proprietary enzymes to convert sugar and starch into allulose at a scale offering a more affordable alternative to current product, uh, production processes. To optimize this, uh, their process, Ambrosia Bio will leverage Ginkgo's enzyme services, which include ultra-high throughput screening and machine learning guided protein design. Uh, they aim to produce an optimized version of their proprietary enzymes in a productive expression uh, strain, benefiting from Ginkgo's strain engineering code base and foundry capabilities. The partnership aims to democratize the global use of allulose by providing a cost-effective solution for ingredient manufacturers and global food and beverage brands seeking a sugar replacement without compromising on taste. Ambrosia Bio's enzo enzymatic innovation and allulose uh, production processes have uh, the potential to reduce the cost of mass producing uh, allulose and enable uh, reduced sugar products with desir uh, desirable sensory traits. The collaboration between Ambrosia Bio and Ginkgo Bioworks will enhance enzymatic innovation in the sugar replacement industry and pave the way for more affordable and palatable reduced sugar uh, pro process. Well, friends, you can realize the potential of this particular sugar replacement uh, product uh, if it is exactly what they say it is and is approved by FDA. Then uh, you can imagine all of uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi production will switch from saccharin uh, and aspartame to, um, to this new sugar solution. That's the potential I look forward to. And uh, what is not clear here, as always, is the... Uh, is the is the lack of uh, disclosure of financial uh, um, uh, considerations in all these deals is it going to be based on royalty or is it going to be a percentage of revenue share uh, we do not know 
So, uh, and also how protected is the strain? Uh, can Ambrosia and other clients, once they get the strain, can they replicate the strain uh, at their own place and uh, continue using it? And if so, is there a higher compensation given to Ginkgo for that? We don't have an idea about all those things. Does Ginkgo have the rights uh, to continue to work on those strains and come with variants and sell it to somebody else? So we don't know all those details. Well, we, once we know those details, we'll know whether this is a really uh, lucrative and foundationally strong uh, uh, deal uh, which will underpin the fundamentals of Ginkgo Bioworks. Uh, un until we have that information, we can't make those assumptions. And as always, the slight strength in the share attracted insider selling. Um, a report on uh, July 1st disclosed that one of the major uh, shareholders, uh, Barry Canton, sold around 37,650 uh, shares of uh, the stock uh, in a transaction that netted him somewhere around $64,000. Uh, and um, I think the average price at which he sold the st shares was around uh, $1.75 per share. So that has happened. Uh, of course, there are a couple of insiders who have also bought shares uh, for a higher amount of money uh, than what uh, Canton has sold. Uh, but overall, uh, it has remained a trend that whenever there is a bit of strength in the share, uh, there has been some insider selling. So uh, that's going to continue to happen. And um, uh, there is also a little bit of concern uh, that institutional investors who form around 48% of the shareholders of um, uh, Ginkgo. In other words, they hold 48% of the uh, equity of Ginkgo. And um, they always benchmark uh, themselves and uh, report to their um, uh, investors on an ongoing basis about the performance of their uh, investments. And uh, when they look at the huge drop in uh, uh, price, uh, the market cap of um, uh, uh, Ginkgo Bioworks has uh, fallen down to 3.3 billion uh, and um, that would definitely hurt uh, when they talk to their um, uh, investors and therefore there is a, a risk that uh, the uh, institutional investors who are also called as smart money uh, may decide to pull out the money from uh, Ginkgo Bioworks and if they did that the message will go around that smart money is exiting Ginkgo Bioworks and that could suddenly bring a whole lot of pressure on this particular share and it will come down. But on the positive side, we have a projection that there will be a growth of revenue of around 19.2 to 19.3 percent per annum uh, for Ginkgo Bioworks. But that's only one side of the register, right? We have to know what is the growth or decrease in the expenses. Uh, because the difference between the income and the expense is what is going to be uh, the uh, the profit and uh, that's what is going to ma matter to the shareholders. So friends, we don't have much of the information out here, but I would be looking forward to uh, the uh, quarterly reports coming up soon and uh, hope we get some color on that or at least some analyst at the call would ask those questions, uh, especially from the institutional investors perspective about what is the qualitative aspect and uh, maybe Ginkgo will also provide more color uh, on these deals that have been uh, taking place. What kind of alliances do they have? Uh, are they going to be a one-time uh, processing house or are they going to be an ongoing processing house? And how does that impact on the cost uh, effectiveness of the foundries? Are, they, are foundries going to be uh, focused on just one customer for one foundry or you can have multiple products going on simultaneously in the same foundry. So the efficiency, operating efficiency of the foundry, the profitability of those foundries, those are the kind of granular details that I am looking for and I have not found. If I find that, I'll get back to you. But any of you viewers who are already invested in Ginkgo and who are well versed about uh, Ginkgo products and everything, uh, if you know where I can find that kind of information, please point me to it and I'd like to dig into it and see what I can uh, find and what conclusions we can draw. So friends, this was a substantial uh, video on Ginkgo Bioworks. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you did, please do not hesitate to press the like button out there. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and take us to the 4000 threshold. I'm also waiting for us to touch 4000 so that I can start the membership option for all of us out here and uh, take the channel to the next level. So I'm looking forward to your continued cooperation and support. You have been supportive so far and you have adjusted to all the uh, growing pains that I had in the channel where I started to learn about how to do a video, to do the audio. And I'm still in the learning process, but definitely our videos are looking much better than before. And I'm able to have much more substantial content uh, subsequently. But uh, as far as the genomics uh, field is concerned, those uh, watch list companies that we have, 
that is not much news at this point of time but coming closer to the next quarter i think we'll start hearing more news from crispr therapeutics and uh, and from uh, bluebird bio and there'll be a lot of things to talk about out there but till then uh, i think uh, we'll have to look at um, other big pharma companies which are entering into the gene therapy uh, area because they are just buying up companies which are in a very good position with their gene therapy and then they are taking it to uh, pivotal studies and uh, you know uh, bla submission and so on so we already seen two of those we saw biomarine and we saw uh, pfizer Uh, with their gene therapies so i'm going to be doing more of that as well and if you have any particular genomic company that you want me to make a video on please put it in the comment and i'll always uh, be happy to oblige you and with that i'd like to bring this video to an end and a happy 4th of july to all our american friends out there uh, have a great time and all the best bye for now